Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sri Krishna Chaitanya book compilation given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on July 18th, 2022 in Sri Damayapur, India. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, today we will continue with the compilation of the Sri Krishna Chaitanya book. Today's chapter is entitled Bhagavan Acharya reports his brother after being rebuked by Swarup Damodar. Under the section, the chastisement of Junior Haridas. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Antya Lila, 2.84. Opar Prashunga Bormu, Bhagavan Acharya Bhittanta Bormu. Purushatame Prabhupase, Bhagavan Acharya. Param Vaishna Teho Shupanditarya At Jagannath Puri, in the association of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, lived Bhagavan Acharya, who was certainly a gentleman, a learned scholar, and a great devotee. Prepared by his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada, for a description of Bhagavan Acharya, one may refer to Adi Leela, 10th chapter. Verse number 136. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Leela 2.85. Shakha Bhavakranta Chitta Gopavatar Shuru Gushai Shaha Shakha Bhavahar. He was fully absorbed in thoughts of fraternal relationship with God. He was an incarnation of a coward boy. And thus his dealings with Swarup Damodar Goswami were very friendly. Some devotees may have a Satya Rasa relationship with Krishna. Some devotees may have a Satya Rasa relationship with Krishna. Friendly relationship. Associated with Krishna like a friend. And thus, they associate with Krishna like a friend. And other devotees were also friends with him. And other devotees were also friends with him. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Leela 2.86 Madhya Madhya Grihe Ramnan Kuriya Ekaki Prabhupi Nimantam Ekanta Vave Asriya Chen Chaitanya Charan Madhe Madhe Prabhurta Ho Karen Nimantran He sought the shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet with full surrender. Sometimes he would invite the Lord to dine at his home. Lord Chaitanya was as a sannyasi, he didn't cook himself. So Lord Chaitanya, as a sannyasi, he didn't cook for himself. He accepted the invitation of different grihasthas. He accepted the invitations of different grihasthas. And he was their house. And he would eat at their house. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ante Lila 2.87 Ghare bhat kori koren vivida avanjan Ekale gosai loya koran avhojan Krishna 
Bhagavan Acharya prepared varieties of rice and vegetables at home and brought the Lord there alone to eat, preferred by his divine grace Srila Prabhupada. Generally, those who invited Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for dinner used to offer him the remnants of food that had first been offered to Lord Jagannath. Bhagavan Acharya, however, instead of giving him the remnants of Jagannath's food, prepared dinner at his home. In Orissa, food offered to Lord Jagannath is called prasadi, and that which is not offered to Lord Jagannath is called is known as amani or gharbhata. Rice prepared at oh gharbhat, rice prepared at home. Bhagavan Acharya prepared different types of vegetables. So Bhagavan Acharya prepared different types of vegetables. Which can help to be specially appreciated by Lord Chaitanya. Which is prepared to be specially appreciated by Lord Chaitanya. And also the vegetables are taken with the rice. And also the vegetables are taken with rice. So he made these special vegetables and rice to be offered to the Lord. Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita Ante Lila 2.88 Bhagavan Acharya Evang Tat Pita Oluzer Charitra तार पिता विषयी बरो शतानंद खान विषय विभुगाचर वैरग्य प्रदान भगवान आचार्य's father, whose name was Satananda Khan, was an expert statesman, whereas Bhagavan Acharya was not at all interested in the management of the state. Indeed. He was almost in the renounced order of life. Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita Ante Lila 2.89 Bhagavan Acharya's father, he was engaged in material pursuits. Bhagavan Acharya's father, he was engaged in material pursuits. Bhagavan Acharya was very nasty, he was all sorts of nasty. But Bhagavan Acharya, he was very renounced, he was almost like a sannyasi. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Lila 2.89 Gopal Bhatta Charya Nam Tar Chhoto Bhai Kashite Vedanta Puri Gela Charyo Thai Bhagavan Acharya's brother, whose name was Gopal Bhattacharya, had studied Vedanta philosophy at Banaras and had then returned to Bhagavan Acharya's home, purported by his divine Rishila Prabhupada. During those days, and also at the present, Vedanta philosophy is understood through the commentary of Shankaracharya, which is known as Shari Rakabhashya. Thus, it appears that Gopal, Bhatta, Gopal Bhattacharya, the younger brother of Bhagavan Acharya, had studied Vedanta according to the way of Shari Rakabhashya, which expounds the Mayavada philosophy of the impersonalists. So we have already discussed how the Mayavadi sannyasis preach the Shankaracharya philosophy. Because they were converted by Lord Chaitanya. Of course, they were converted by Lord Chaitanya to become Vaishnavas. But for someone. That time we went to Banaras to study Vedanta. It's understood that if someone at that time goes to Banaras to study Vedanta, is to be understood that if he wants to learn Thai, Mayavada philosophy. He 
we must has been taught maya bad philosophy shri chaitanya charitamrita antya leela 2.90 वाचार्य तहारे प्रभु पदे मिलाइला अंतर जामी प्रभु चित्ते सुख न पाइला भगवान आचार्य took his brother to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu but the lord knowing that Gopal Bhattacharya was a mayavadi philosopher could not get much happiness from meeting him फिलोसफर to be impersonal as impersonal shri chaitanya charitamrita antya leela 2.91 shuddha krishna bhajane gaura priti abhakter bhakti virodini vidha shreshtay tahar anada acharya sambandhe bhajje kore pritabhas कृष्णा भक्ति बिना प्रभु नायुल्लास श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु डिराइव्स नो हैप्पीनेस फ्रॉम मीटिंग वन हु इज नॉट अ प्योर डिवोटी ऑफ कृष्ण दस गोपाल बट गोपाल बटाचार्य वाज अ मायावादी फिलोसोफर द लॉर्ड फेल मायावादी स्कॉलर सॉरी द लॉर्ड The Lord felt no jubilation in meeting him. Nevertheless, because Gopal Bhattacharya was related to Bhagavan Acharya, <coughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu felt pleasure in seeing him. Yeah, good host, Lord Chaitanya. Being a good host, Lord Chaitanya. Our respect for Gopal for Acharya, Bhagavan Acharya. Lord Chaitanya offered respect to Bhagavan Acharya. He faint. He showed him. Please, please, he meeting Gopal Bhattacharya. As it says, Gopal Bhattacharya. But the Maya Vadi. So it actually says Gopal Bhattacharya was a Maya Vadi. He was not pleased. He was not pleased. अनुरोध वेदांत कोरिया गोपाल आशिया छे खाने भगवान आचार्य से टू स्वरूप दामोदर गोपाल माय यंगर ब्रदर हैज रिटर्न टू माय होम हैविंग कंक्लूडेड हिज स्टडी ऑफ वेदांत फिलॉसफी श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत अंत्य लीला 2.93 भगवान आचार्य रिक्वेस्ट स्वरूप दामोदर गोस्वामी टू हियर फ्रॉम गोपाल द कॉमेंट्री अपॉन वेदांत स्वरूप दामोदर हाउ एवर समी बिकॉज ऑफ लव स्पोक एज फोलोज चैतन्य चरित अंतलीलापाल संगे मायबाद शनिवार उपजिल रंगे 
You have lost your intelligence in the association of Gopal and therefore you are eager to hear the Mayavad philosophy. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Lila Cautioned his followers. So Lord Chaitanya has cautioned his followers not to listen to Mayavad Not to listen to Mayavad philosophy. Not listen to destroy one's devotional service. As this could destroy one's devotional service. Chaitanya Charitamrita Ante Lila 2.95 Nikhil Vaishnav Guru Sri Damodar Sarukkatri Mayavad Dor Darshat Varnam Pogaham Shankar Mayavad Bhashar Bhati Shukha Vaishnav Hayajava Shariri Devashya Shone Shepa Shavak Bhav Chari Aponare Ishwar Mane when a Vaishnava listens to the Shari Rakabhashya, the Mayavada commentary upon the Vedanta Sutra, he gives up the Krishna conscious attitude that the Lord is the master and the living entity is his servant. Instead, he considers himself the Supreme Lord. Purported by his divine grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. The philosophers known as Kevala Advaita Vadis generally occupy themselves with hearing the Shari Rakabhasya, a commentary by Shankara Acharya advocating that one impersonally consider oneself the Supreme Lord. Such Mayavada philosophical commentaries upon the Vedanta Sutra are simply imaginary, but there are other commentaries on the Vedanta Sutra. The commentary by Srila Ramanuja Acharya, known as Sri Bhasya, establishes the Vishishtadvaita Vada philosophy. Similarly, the Brahma Sampradaya, in the Brahma Sampradaya, Madhvacharya's Purna Pratya Vasha establishes the Shuddha Dvaita Vada. In the Kumara Sampradaya or Nimbarka Sampradaya, Sri Nimbarka establishes the philosophy of Dvaita Dvaita Vada in the Pari Pari Jata Saurabha Bhashya and in the Vishnu Swami Sampradaya or Rudra Sampradaya which comes from Lord, Shai, Lord Shiva, Vishnu Swami has written a commentary called Sarvagya Bhashya, Sarvagya Bhashya which establishes Shuddha Dvaita Vada. A Vaishnava should study the commentaries on the Vedanta Sutra written by the four Sampradaya Acharyas, namely Ramanuja Acharya, Madhva Acharya, Vishnu Swami and Nimbarka. For these commentaries are based upon the philosophy that the Lord is the master and that all living entities are his eternal servants. One interested in studying Vedanta philosophy properly must study these commentaries especially if he is a Vaishnava. These commentaries are always adored by Vaishnavas. The commentary by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is elaborately the commentary by, uh, is elaborately given in the Adi Lila, chapter 7, 101. The Mayavada commentary Shari Rakabhasya is like poison for a Vaishnava. It should not be touched at all. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur remarks that even a Mahabhagavad or a highly elevated devotee who has surrendered himself onto the lotus feet of Krishna sometimes falls down from pure devotional service if he hears the Mayavada philosophy of the Shari Rakabhasya. This commentary should, be, should therefore be shunned by all Vaishnavas. By hearing the Shari Raka commentary, even an advanced Vaishnava, they get bewildered and think that he is the Supreme Lord. Vaishnavas avoid listening to the Mayavad 
So the Vaishnava avoid listening to the Mayavad Bhasha. Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita Ante Lila 2.96. Mayavad Vishayar Tidrata Varnam O Sravane Patana Sangha. Mahabhagavata Jai Krishna Prana Dhanaja. Mayavad Sravane Chitta. Avasya Thireta. The Mayavada philosophy presents such a jugglery of words that even a highly elevated devotee who has accepted Krishna as his life and soul changes his decision when he reads Mayavada commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. So, therefore, the devotees are more not to expose themselves. So, therefore, devotees are warned not to expose themselves to the Mayavadi philosophies. Because Krishna has instructed Lord Shiva and empowered him. Because Vishnu has instructed Lord Shiva and empowered him to bring the Buddhists back to Vedas. To bring the Buddhists back to Vedas. So, if a devotee hears this philosophy, he may get bewildered. Then he may get bewildered. Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita Antyalila 2.97 Acharjar Shiyo Krishna Nishta Slaga Acharja Kahe Amashavar Krishna Nishta Chitte in spite of Swarup Damodar's protest, Bhagavan Acharya continued, We are all fixed at the lotus feet of Krishna with our hearts and souls. Therefore, the Shari Rakabhashya cannot change our minds. Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita Antya Lila 2.98 Sarukkatri Shuddha Bhakti Rida Vidara Mayabadar Artho Nirupa Sarukkahe Tathapi Mayabad Sravane Chit Brahma Maya Mitha Ehi Matra Shone Saruk Damodar replied, Nevertheless, when we hear the Mayabad philosophy, we hear that Brahman is knowledge and that the universe of Maya is false, but we gain no spiritual understanding. The Mayavadis think anything which has form is Maya. The absolute truth is formless. That the absolute truth is formless. All the spiritual world, the Ayu, Rama, and Krishna. All the spiritual, so all the spiritual world with Narayan, Krishna, Ram. All the, no, accept any of that. They don't accept all this. They don't accept any of that. Like that, if one turns to the Mayavada philosophy, even their mind doesn't get turned, but they have to listen to all this the speculation of wrong philosophy. Sri Chaitanya Charitam with the Antya Lila 2.99. Jeevagyan kulpita ishare shakalagyan Jahar shravane bhakter thate mon pran The Mayavari philosophers try to establish that the living entity is only imaginary 
and that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is under the influence of Maya. Hearing this kind of commentary breaks the heart and life of a devotee prepared by his divine grace Srila Prabhupada. Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami wanted to impress upon Bhagavan Acharya that even though someone firmly fixed in devotion to Krishna's service might not be deviated by hearing Mayavada, Mayavada Bhashya, that, the, that Bhashya is nevertheless full of impersonal words and ideas, such as Brahman, which represent knowledge, but which are impersonal. The Mayavadis say that the world created by Maya. Thank you for watching our videos. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. And don't forget to like and share our channel.